They say truth is the first casualty of war. But who defines what's true? is flying to Hamburg to negotiate a peace treaty with NATO delegates. Truth is just a matter of perspective. However, many Russians still blame America for the massacre at Zakaev Airport. The duty of every soldier is to protect the innocent, and sometimes that means preserving the lie of good and evil, that war isn't just natural selection played out on a grand scale. But for now, it looks like the world may finally know peace. The only truth I've found is that the world we live in is a giant tinderbox. All it takes is someone to light the match. Moscow, this is command point on the road to Hamburg. Skies are clear. All teams report in. Team 1, the President's office is secure. Team 2, lower deck is clear. Team 3, forward cabin is secure. We land in Hamburg in two hours. Team one remain with the president until touchdown. Vasily's waiting for you, father. He's expecting an answer from me. Team one moving. I don't like him. No one does. That's why he's good at his job. What will you tell him? The truth. He won't want to hear it. He has no choice. I'm the president. I'll see you at dinner. Mr. President. Vasily. Hello, Mr. President. Visited? Two choices, peace or war, life or death. For the sake of our children, we must seek peace Mr. with the West. President, now is not the time to appease our enemies. We destroy our enemies when we make friends with them. If we cannot end our differences, at least... That's gunfire! Hijackers are taking the plane! The car is being breached! Mr. President, get down! Team 3, start the report! We need backup! Fire! Fire! Everyone down! Protect the president! Code red! Repeat! So! Now that we've got action going on, welcome to Modern Warfare 3 again. We're, uh... We're on a plane! Yeah. And it is being hijacked by, by someone. They are infected to me, Whoa! Ooh. Oh yeah, I remember fighting in zero G. Yeah. Totally possible. Makes total sense. Totally not something that the guys over at Infinity Ward went, This would be awesome! <laughs> and then masturbated to porn. Pretty much. Also, Done. welcome back. Look, oh, look, this is the reintroduction to the AK-74U or 74U into the series. This is the first time it's actually been seen since the first game. Which means um, I'm automatically going to switch it out for a PP9 M01. Black Ops, if you count the. I don't count. I don't count that terrible mess. Why? Okay. No, I'm kidding. It, it 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 was in Black Ops, but I don't really care for Black Ops too much. As if you couldn't tell at all. Mm. I, I was more yes. talking about the Modern Warfare series, though. Uh, your opinion of Black Ops is the same as my opinion of Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> well, I can at least tolerate this game, which is more than I can say for Black Ops. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not a fan of Black Ops either. Anyway. One playthrough was enough to get them. The AA-12 also makes a reappearance, since it's a uh, grand showing in the last game. It is still mm -hmm. the same weapon, automatic, a widespread. Very powerful. You use it at all costs. Different all the time. Multiplayer. Yeah, it is actually. All shotguns became pieces of shit. Uh, kind of. 
Okay, I mean, yes, kind of. They kind of have, um... The world's strangest... Kill distance? Because it, it fluctuates? It's... Overall, a little less powerful than they were. Because in Mono Fire 2, let's face it, they're kind of broken. I, I know this guy. Also, holy shit, would you look at what's going on here? Our plane is falling apart. Uh, okay, that's why I didn't do pressurize, because we're already on the ground. Gotcha. You, uh, <laughs> I, I noticed like, something. Plane's in the air. Yeah. I actually noticed something while that was going on, is that the boxes fell just specifically so that you couldn't walk out and, like, get caught in that. I didn't Ooh. notice that. I didn't actually notice that while I was playing. I'm like, wait a minute, I just saw that, and I'm like, well, I guess that's kind of foreshadowing. If foreshadowing involved a blunt force trauma to the head. I don't foreshadowing? Know. You couldn't walk past Bob. It seems more like an excuse to otherwise not use an invisible wall. Well,. To be fair, there's probably still an invisible wall there, because most times, uh, boxes that tall, or that short, are climbable. Are you sure that, uh, Infinity Ward would have really thought that far ahead? <laughs> I mean, it is Infinity Ward we're talking about here. Well, I'm, t I'm talking foreshadowing in the fact, that in the sense that, hey, there's something blocking my way, I guess I shouldn't be looking to go that far, there's something gonna happen over there. So I have to wonder, this would be the perfect time for this mission, if we wanted to be authentic, to have only Russian weapons. It does, actually, I believe. Uh, well, we'll have to find out later what country the PP is from. I don't know. I don't claim to be an expert on this sort of thing. Neither do I, I'm never going to it, but I just play games with guns in them. But for the most part, it's AK-47s and the like, so... AK-74s and AK-47s and PP-901s and... I don't know what else. That's basically it, really. Oh, that's a different kind of grenade. They're not normally M67s, are they? Yeah, they are. Or, no, they're oh. M87s, actually. Yeah, exactly, that's kind of cool. Maybe they're bodyguard grade. I don't know. I'm not terribly sure that they're actually different. I think... I'm sorry. <laughs> as a uh, as a bodyguard, you're only entitled to M67 grenades. You're not up to the M87s. Still the same exploding power, but, you know... We just call them a different thing. The power of numbering. Yeah. Maybe they're earlier models so they have more of a chance to go off in your hand or something. <laughs> that would be so good for a bodyguard, let me tell you. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry, I kind of blew myself up with that. I was aiming to, you know, throw that, maybe. <laughs> Bodyguards only need one hand or another. <laughs> and, and, like... Half a face. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's not explicitly stated what we're... Well, actually, it is. We're trying to go save the president. Uh... Save the president and his daughter. And his daughter, of course. So, uh, if we were kind of, uh, eh, I don't know. This is this is just kind of a filler mission, really. Yeah, there's not really much to say. You're on a plane, it crashes, and you shoot things. Like, I mean, the set piece is nice, I guess, if you want to call it that. But I mean, whatever. There's plenty of those in this game. It's a uh, Modern Warfare 3. Yeah. Every set piece is this. Except, you know, without the point, it's just shooting man from spot to spot. And then having incredibly heart wrenching things happen, like, oh my god, Makarov, what are you doing here? This is such a shock. Oh my god, I didn't see this plot twist coming. <laughs> the guy from Modern Warfare 2 that was still alive is the bad guy. <laughs> This is my chopped face. Wait, you can't see my face. <laughs> yes. Then you know what I want. You're insane. Russia will <sighs> take all of Europe. 
and a monologue delivered straight out of the books of some generic action movie somewhere. Every man has his weakness. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, Modern Warfare 2 started the whole we're a massive um, action movie ripoff. Modern Warfare 3 just continued it. Yeah, pretty much. Shame that.